Hola, welcome back to Ketas Cocina. Today I'm gonna make some arepas. They're from Colombia and my friend Irene showed me how to make them. So they're not low calorie, but they're delicious, okay? So let's move on and next I'll show you the ingredients. The ingredients are very simple. It's two cups of pan. Now this is a different masa you probably haven't seen and it looks like this and it's called pan. P-A-N. So we need two cups. You need a half a cup of mozzarella cheese and then cheese to stuff. One teaspoon of salt and three tablespoons of butter and two cups of water as needed, but you'll see how I knead it together, okay? Now I'm gonna begin to put it together for you, okay? So I'm gonna put in the salt and I've washed my hands and I'm gonna use my hands because it's much easier to use your hands to mix everything. So I mix the salt in there. I'm gonna begin to put the water and just begin to mix. Just like if you were making masa for tortillas. Next, I'm gonna put in the butter. And with the butter, I'm gonna put in a little more water. And you just keep on mixing it. And now I'm gonna mix in that half a cup of, sugar, of um, cheese and some more water. And it's just a matter of mixing it, kneading it. That's what you really have to do. You're really just kneading it all together now. And it's gonna stay, I want it to be not sticky, but soft. Needs a little bit more water. You can see how it's starting to like just move away from my hands. It's not sticking to my hands so much and it's soft. But we're still gonna put just a tiny bit more water. We're probably gonna use almost the two cups. But you wanna start out with two cups because you want it to be nice and pliable, but not sticky, but yet soft. See, it's coming right off of my fingers. It's not sticking to my fingers so much. I'm just gonna add that little bit more water. And that's probably it. I wanna start moving it from the bottom and see how I don't want it to stick to the bowl and it's starting to not stick to the bowl, but come together, because you want it to come together like in a nice ball. See how it's nice and soft? See, I'm just gonna be able to make, see how soft that is? And I'm just gonna continue to knead it till it comes totally off of the bowl, okay? And I'll show you in a minute how it stays. Let me show you how it stayed. See, it came totally off the bowl. There's no moss on the bowl. And it's the round, like I said, the soft dough. See how soft it is and pliable. So now I have to let it set for 20 minutes, okay? 
going to cover it and let it set for 20 minutes. Now I've warmed up my griddle, my um, umal, and it's about a medium high, not high at all, just more medium, okay? And I have my masa and it's all done. So now I'm just gonna start making the arepas for you, okay? So you take a bunch, a ball, about this size, about a little bit more than a golf ball. And what I've done is I put here some water with a little tiny bit of oil. So I'm gonna moisten my hands and I'm going to start making this ball, okay? So I make this ball so that it's smooth. Then I wanna make a well in the middle. So I just start pounding it inside. And now I'm gonna fill it with that cheese. And I'm gonna fold it over and start bringing it together fold the cheese in there and then make a complete ball again. See how I make my ball? So now I'm gonna start pressing it and rounding it out. This time I'm using the palms of my hands and you just kind of like Push the edges in so that it doesn't crack. Just keep working with it. And this takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get it. You just keep on pressing that middle with the palm of your hand and rounding the sides. See how it made it flatter? Keep on pressing those edges. Keep on pressing it till it comes into a shape of a round, flat ball. See? And now all you do is you're gonna put it on the griddle. You just lay it there, okay? I'll make one more for you. It's a little muscle workout for your hands and your shoulders, let me tell you. Okay, press that together. Press that cheese inside. And you're gonna make a ball again. You want that cheese all inside. So we've gotta make that ball again and then start from scratch to make it Flat. So here we go. Palms. Round it. I tell you, it just takes practice, but you'll get it, see? And we'll just put that on the griddle. And then it's just waiting. 
We're not going to turn a lot, a lot, but we're going to turn this one, see if you can see. There we go. And hopefully you can see how it's browning a little bit. Okay. So I have them cooking here and these two are the first ones I put on. So if you touch them in the middle, they're kind of squishy. So that means that they're cooked and they're ready to take off. Okay, so I'm gonna take these out. And it doesn't matter, sometimes the cheese will squish out a little bit, but that doesn't matter. It's okay. So these two are done. And these two I have cooking that I made after. And this one that I put on. Okay. So I'll show you what happens next, but right now I'm gonna continue to cook these and then I'll see you in a little bit. My arepas are done. I'm gonna show you. I got eight of them out of that two cups. And this is what they look like inside. See that? So now I'm just gonna have a taste. And I have a little bit of salsa here that I had made. So I'm gonna put that on the salsa. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Try it. I know it looks a little bit difficult, but try it. So I just want you to know that <clears throat> here's the recipe. And it only takes two cups of pan, one pound of mozzarella cheese, or not even a pound, just whatever it takes for you to fill them and put in the masa. And then one teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of butter, two cups of warm water. And then you just begin to mix it the way I showed you. Um, you let it set for 20 minutes and it's just delicious, okay? It's very good. So, next I'll have the word for you. The word for today comes from Proverbs 4. It's from the Message Bible. Keep diligent watch over your heart. That's where life starts. And I believe this so much because from the heart speaks the mouth. So if you put, if you guard your heart and you put good things in your heart, then good things are going to come out of your mouth. So just remember that. Keep the good things in your heart. And when you make these, always remember to add the love. Love you guys, and I'll see you next time.